Hi there and welcome to this new and exciting session in which we are going to treat quantization aware training with TensorFlow. Now in some previous sections we started by explaining what quantization is all about and the advantages of quantizing models. We also looked at different quantization methods and we looked at the relative advantages and disadvantages of these different methods. That said, we are going to see in this section how to quantize a full model or just some layers which make up that model. In TensorFlow, the special model which permits us to carry out quantization is this TFMOT, which stands for TensorFlow Model Optimization. And so here we start by installing this TensorFlow model optimization module and then we'll import this as TFMOT. Then since we want to do quantization, we could get in here Keras and that's it. Here we have different methods and classes. Let's get into this quantize model right here. As you can see, quantize a Keras model with a default quantization implementation. And so here we have to simply pass in this to quantize argument, which is the model to be quantized. And then we should get a quantization aware model. So here, for example, you see this model defined, the sequential model. And then we also have this functional model. Then to quantize this, we just call this method quantize model right here. And then we pass in our model and we have our quantization aware model. So that said, let's go ahead and implement this. Here we have our model. In this case, let's let's start with our hugging face model. So we have this our hugging face model, which we've uh, declared already. And now let's say we want to have our quant aware uh, hugging face. Okay, so we, we want this quantization aware hugging face model. And then we want to use tfmod.quantize model so basically let's copy this here and then paste it out in the code so we have that paste it out and then here we have our hugging face model so from this we're running this should give us our quantization aware model now we get an error quantizing a tf keras model inside another tf keras model is not supported so as of now this isn't supported now um let's try out with the efficient net model though though this should it should be the same error because the efficient net model let's let's get up here uh the definition for the efficient net model first of all you can see the hugging face model you have this model in this model so that's uh, the reason why that doesn't work and then we we get to the efficient net model transformer okay so we have this model right here and we could see that we have this keras model which is this backbone here in this model and so uh, if we are to use this we have to look for a way to break this backbone up into its different layers but as of now what we've been doing is just uh, making use of this backbone as you see here we just have this backbone and that was it we didn't uh, actually break this model up into its different layers now that said let's copy out this efficient net model right here uh, we'll have to take all this off and then now we are no longer making use of this input right here so we wouldn't use this we we'll use the the backbones input directly so let's look at that we have this X so from here we have the backbones output which will get into this global average pooling layer so here we have backbone output that's it we have this output which gets into the global average pooling we have this x here that's it which now passes through this dense layer and then to the batch norm layer and then through this dense layer such that we have an output right here okay so we have that let's pass in this x values there we go and finally we have this then from here now we create our model so it's our pre-trained our pre-trained model is a keras model and which takes inputs the backbone input so now our our backbone input is our input and then 
our output is simply this output right here so we have that output okay so we have this set now and everything should work fine so let's run this here and what do you notice you will notice that uh the keras model what we had previously as our keras model has now been broken up as you could see uh i think we should have just um set uh here pre-trained functional model let's call this functional model okay so let's let's go back and run this other cell here let's get back here um pre-trained model okay so let's run this again this our pre-trained model and then so that we could we could run this um summaries down here and you could see clara so you see here we have this our model is, is exactly the same model we've been dealing with so far this is the exact same model uh what we want to do is just to paste this to have the pre-trained so this is a pre-trained model uh let's get a summary pre-trained model summary run that let's reduce this so you could uh, get into the space we have this and you see we still have this exact same total parameters is here the same uh, number of parameters number of non-trainable parameters exactly the same so it's, it's basically the same thing but the difference here is we do not have this um let's open that up again we do not have pre-trained summary we do not have this keras model here so we do not have this uh, model right here and so uh, because we do not have this now it's, it will be possible for us to you know, make use of this method and quantize our full model so that's it we have this pre-trained model now let's run this again so we we have this pre-trained pre-trained functional model let's run that okay we have our model set and now what we can do is we would run this now so let's run this again and see what we get let's increase the size and there we go we get another error this uh the same error actually let's get back here oh uh, this should be pre-trained functional so let's run this now it's taking more time hopefully everything should work well now instead we get in this other error yeah where we told that this rescaling is not or this this layer here is not supported and this is normal since here in this rescaling layer we do not have any weights and so we are not going to be carrying our quantization for such layers so um what we can do now is instead of quantizing the whole model we'll select some layers we want to quantize so here there we go what we'll do is instead select some layers so this means that if we had let's define a simple model so let's let's uh get back to the top and then if we define for example this learned model without this resize rescale so that's it uh quite simple model we have that now let's run this let's run the cell and then oops we're getting an error so that's because we we took off the research skill and we did not specify this year exact for an exact um input size so let's run this again that's fine now we have our lunette model let's do this lunette model and run that we get another error let's check that out this batch norm uh, is not supported so you cannot count quantize this batch norm layer so what we'll do is let's let's basically remove the batch norm layers but later on we'll see how to have to to to, to quantize only uh some layers so for now let's just remove this batch norm layers uh batch norm off drop out let's take the drop out too batch norm off and that's it uh so we have that let's run this again uh let's see what we get okay so that's fine you see now uh we've been able to make this lunette model quantization aware and we've done this for the whole or the full model now in cases like this year this model year this uh efficient net model 
where we have this backbone which is uh, our pre-trained uh, backbone we cannot start taking off the normalization layer for example here and taking off this rescaling which comes to the backbone and so on and so forth so what we'll instead do is we'll move layer by layer and select the layers which we want to actually uh, make quantization aware so that's basically what we'll do and so instead of proceeding as we did here with this lunette that is uh, quantizing the whole the full model we're going to go layer by layer so with that we could comment that section there and now take this model off now in order to quantize only some layers of the model we'll make use of this quantize annotate layer method right here so we see again we have uh, quantization keras quantize annotate layer and this takes in the model to annotate with some quantization configurations so here what they explain is this function does not actually quantize a layer it is mainly merely used to specify that the layer should be quantized so you see it's there to specify that the layer should be quantized and so the layer then gets quantized accordingly when we do a quantize apply so this is the quantize apply method here click open that and that should be it so let's get back uh oh let's let's just get let's just look at this example here where you see this layer you see we have this model but in this model we want to quantize only this layer and so as you could see we have quantize annotate layer and then once this is done we do a quantize apply to get our quantization aware model which here is called quantized model so let's go ahead and see how to implement this with our pre-trained efficient net model we will now define this method apply quantization to the conf layers which takes in a layer and then if that layer the name or rather here yeah, if th if th this conf is in the layer name we are going to carry out the quantization so we're going to apply the quantization on the conf layers uh, so here we have layer okay so in the case where we don't have that we'll just return the layer itself so the, the, the layer remains unchanged whereas conf layers will become quantization aware so we have this apply uh, meta right here which will run there we go now once we, we we have this method defined we'll make use of this clone model method right here to create a new model but one which takes into consideration a certain clone function we get back here and then we paste this out uh, we wouldn't making use of this in input tensors we just make use of the clone function and our clone function here is just apply quantization to the conf layers so that's it now you you check this here if you check out here you will see that wherever we have the conf layers you see like this one we have this conf uh yeah we have this conf for the dev wise convolutions and so on and so forth now you could also include this for the expand and reduce layers but let's just work with only those conf's so that's it uh we, we, you you now understand how to pick out certain layers or how to leave out others from the quantization awareness process so from here we we, we have this apply right here and then we'll call this our quant aware efficient net so that's it we have this quant aware efficient net and then we run this uh, no this model this model here has to be our our pre-trained model so it's our pre-trained model we run that again and now this should be fine okay so we have our quantize uh, our model which is now quantization aware and you notice that when we do quant aware efficient net summary we should get something slightly different from what we used to get in um we have in this uh now oh this is a no this should be funk so we should have funk model let's run that again and run no let's run this 
let's get back here and you see we have this quant aware efficient net and you will now notice that let's get back to the top you will notice that wherever we have this uh, conf layers see wherever we had the conf layers we now instead have this quantize annotate so as we scroll you wouldn't see a quant uh, conf layer but instead we have the quantize annotates so that's it but, uh, years years because this didn't have the, there's no conf in this name so we could as we said before we could include the, this se expand and se reduce um, layers so that's it we, we we now have this quantize annotate layers which wasn't what we had before making this model quantization aware or some layers of this model quantization aware so with that now we are done with the annotation and we are ready to make this actually quantization aware so here we call this quant aware model uh, yeah this is quant quant aware let's get this exact name right here quant aware efficient okay so we call that quant aware efficient there we go that's it and now we have our quant aware model let's run this again and then see what we get as a summary and that's it is now quantization aware so we know we no longer having the the annotations but now some wrappers so here you see the the layer name but now we have this quant which is added to this layers um let's scroll down check out on this you see we have this other ones here and so on and so forth so that's it we 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 now have our quantization aware model and we're now ready to compile this model and train it like every regular model we get back to our training right here and then at the level of this compile we have your quant aware model that's it um this this is a similar rate so that's it okay let's run this and then here we also have our quant aware model there we go so let's run this we get in this resource exhausted error so i'm going to restart the session and hopefully everything should work fine there we go we started the session and now we able to train anyways we see how to implement quantization aware training with tensorflow and in the next section we'll dive into post training quantization